Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey y'all, welcome to that video. As y'all can tell by the title and thumbnail, we have got a new shop. Let me go ahead and tell you what's going on. The old shop and house I kind of sold off because someone walked over some good money. So I sold it and the construction shop got sold. So now everything I own is here at this one shop because I'm staying with LJ at the moment down the street. Which I will show you that in a little bit. Right now... Everything's over here basically. So today is just with us being getting moved into our shop. If you are an OG, you would know that I've had this shop before. It's right there, you can see it right there actually. It's a little bit smaller shop, but we're gonna work with it. I mean, I'm still looking for a house. I have a million, well, about a million, 1.2 million, that's how you say it, right? Yeah. At 1.2 million to spend, so we might go find a rich boy house. We might find a junk house and buy some more cars. But we're gonna go ahead and buy a parking spot. We've been moving things all day. LJ has been helping me all day. He is not with me right now because he is already um uh he had to go do some things, so he's not here with me. But we're just gonna park it down here inside the road and uh. In the trailer, we got duct tape behind us. We just got it picked up from paint shops. I had to go do that while he moved some more things. So we're going to go ahead and get it out and put it inside of the shop. So, so we want like a sunset, like orange, red. It's a mixture. I might get some more, get some pearl in it, but it looks pretty good. Uh, we have the big, big wing for it in the trailer. We just don't run it with anymore because it doesn't look the greatest for the big wing. Got the AR on the dash and... Basically, the last up is the same thing, just painted a different color now. And today's video is also just going to be us talking about what I own, and y'all can see what I own and all that. If I can make that turn. Yep, I can. I actually like the shop way better. It's not too far from the house, and it's kind of, I spend a lot of time up here. We are going to get some lifts in here. I just haven't had time to uh, break the concrete out and, uh, Put some new ones in. We'll probably have a lift like right here, always. Um, maybe a lift. We might just have one lift, y'all, just and put one around back or something. But here's the shop. Uh, we're gonna get some of the posters resigned because they are still from when we had the old shop. The guy that did it didn't take them down or anything. So we got like a nice little two bay shop. Probably fit. If there's one car in the lift, you can fit one under. So that's two, three, four. You can probably fit about five cars in here. I can fit all the race cars in here, which is my worry. And here you got like a nice little check-in area, so we might let LJ build some motors here. And we also still have LJ shop we can go to if we have to. So we can move some things over there. And we go out the front door here. Round back, we got like a nice little antique farm. We've got some cars under the cover. I can fit a few cars under here because this one's the one I bought the property. This is ran out to a guy, so he gets the storage equipment. I could probably fit a few cars back here, like some trucks or something. Got a pile of dirt, some bunch of equipment here, which I'm hoping we get cleaned up. Not sure if that's gonna happen, you know. Uh, the next thing we will take, we will get out the trailer. Will be I kind of forgot. Oh, Warrior. Warrior's with us, and it's in a different color. I'm not sure if y'all have seen the new color, which I think y'all have. I just don't remember. 
So for the new color for Warrior, the Big Wing A on it, we have it in the trailer also. We just don't run it with that. Run it with it. We're actually changing a lot of a lot like a lot on this car whenever I get to it. It just I haven't got all the parts in. Uh, we got one like this like purplish color. Like it looks pretty good. So Colt will be driving this in LJ. They're gonna be swapping between. I'm just the owner of the car, so and they're part of my team. Uh, I told them, hey, you can run the car if you want. So. And it's with me right now because I'm going to do some maintenance and have LJ pull the motor. And I'm pretty sure we messed up. So, ooh, just some scraping. Can I get fit through there? Can't fit through or is it not going to allow me? Okay, I can fit. Basically, we're just going to do some checkups on it. Basically, make sure the car is good and ready to go. We're just going to pull everything in the shop because this one has bullhorns. So we don't want it. Oh, yeah, we could so fit more than five cars in here, maybe. Yeah, we can totally fit it. Um, the Audi might be getting sold, y'all. We have it, the big tires and radials and small tire going with it. So we might sell that to Jake. Jake has been doing some testing with it. I went and got it right now just so I can do this video. I gotta give it back to him. Ooh, ooh, what was that? I gotta take it back to him eventually. Well, he's gonna come and get it once I tell him it's okay to come get it. So I might sell it to him, y'all. We still got the trailer business. I'm just so distracted, y'all. So we still got the trailer business and everything, but you know, with how that is, we need to get we need to get Bad Apple out of the uh, trailer here. Oh, we got the smart car. I forgot about the smart car. Smart car come over here for a little bit, y'all. We'll get that in the way a little bit. We won't get all the race cars out. Ooh, I haven't been showing y'all the trucks either. All right, so back there, y'all. We got my. Uh, 7.3 is dually. It's got flatbed on it with the 53 trailer behind it, non-stacker. Right here we have our 2024 High Country, which just bought an on go with our little 20-foot open trailer with the big tire Audi on it. Six, uh, the motor in it is a 6.32 nitrous motor, pretty pro moddy. I mean, I don't, I liked it. I like it still, but I just don't run it enough, so I need to sell it. Over here we have, oh lord, is this, let me make sure I get my years right, I'm pretty sure this is a 17, no it's an 18, so we have our 2018 like work truck, we go to the lumberyard because we're like hired full time there now, they, they like my crew, they like Colt, to let him back, that's what we do for work, huh. we do some building and everything, I still got everything, like my little side cleaning business, I also bought a dump trailer, so I'll show you that in a little bit. But behind it, we have our 36 foot with a Hellcat that I'm kind of. It's kind of more of a uh, street car takeover car. We'll go with that. Back, we got a little monster truck here. A little Duramax on some mud tires, because, well, or track tires, not mud tires. Right here, we have our 20, uh, 22 or 20 or 20. Just because we have our 2020 F450 King Grant Dually 6.7 motor in it. Behind it, we have our 48. 48 foot enclosed team trailer. Basically, the teammates have this one. Bathroom and uh, living quarters in the front, everything. I kind of. I like the trailer, but I just don't use it enough. So that's why I let the team. Kind of bought it for the team. U Haul truck is just rented out because we have all the tools in there and like motors and some, like some things we had laying around the shop. Uh, this is also a new truck, which is a 2007 LBZ 20, uh, 3500. Uh, yeah, she is nice, y'all. Clean. A little gra a grandpa had this. Not my grandpa. A grandpa had this. And he has some meaty wheels on it for him. I'm not actually surprised. It's a nice color. That truck's really... I love it. Um, I might be selling some things here, y'all. So this might not be everything accurate. Let's go ahead and get that up one side of the uh, shop, y'all. Let's go ahead and get Bad Apple in the shops so that way we can bring some more cars in because we have the Fairmont we still gotta get in and the Audi can stay on the trailer so I'm not worried about it. Can I fit him in here? There we go, we can fit it. There we go. Tight y'all. Yeah, we can definitely fit uh, five cars in here when we get a lift in here. Door open slow. Uh, we got this. We got the uh, 389 semi right here. We normally just use this for our little trucking thing. Trucking thing we did on the side. We go pick up trailers since I kind of do like a trailer dealer. I, I showed y'all in like a few episodes back. 
Right here we have our. What year is this truck? 18, 2018, 4th gen. Behind it we have our little 36, 30 something foot. I don't know the exact size. Uh, Diamond C trailer has the 1988 C10 on it, which I'm going to be selling. A guy might be looking at here in a little bit. And on the back we have the Malibu, which is going to be sold also. So this trailer is kind of. Everything on it is basically sold. That thing's gonna sold. That guy's gonna come and look at it, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna buy it. But oh, fire hydrant. So this trailer and truck's good to go. It's empty, but this is a 06 or 07. 05. I was wrong. This is a 05. Say, uh, fifth, Sierra. I can't say it. But behind it, we got the 2015, 28 foot stacker. And over here, parked tucked away, we have the Peterbilt that we just picked up not long ago. And we have the race trailer. Like, four cars can fit in here, but there's nothing in here. I don't think, at least. Yeah, I was about to say. This trailer is more for, like, whenever we go out of town and everything. We can fit all the cars in there. Oh, oh I don't. But we can fit all the cars in there. We can fit four cars, like, regular size cars. Like, we could probably fit one truck up top, a car up there, and a truck down bottom of the car, so it still fit four. Be aware, guard dog. Alright. What is the next thing we're unloading? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, the Fairmont. That's right. Let's go ahead and get the Fairmont out, y'all. Fairmont's looking pretty good, y'all. We'll hopefully get this thing back and running and racing it. I mean, it runs. We just haven't had time to do any testing. I drive it around, like, as a daily, as like a little get-around car a lot. I'm going to pull this inside of the shop. We're missing a panel right there, y'all. We need to get that fixed. Oh, we can fit six cars in here without a lift. Okay. So, all the race cars are unloaded, so... I guess we just... Let's figure out where we want to park trailers at. Hmm... What do we want to park trailers at even, y'all? There's a fence missing right there. How do we want to park them? Do we want to park them, like, against the fence this way or up here? I think we can get more going on if we park them like this. And plus, there'll be more on the concrete. So, let's... Hmm. That trailer will go right here. So, let's go ahead and get that trailer in here. Just so while we start thinking, we're going to put the rest of them. Now you're going to... This might be a little bit long video, y'all, but this is just us organizing and showing you what I own and everything like that. I try and keep it fairly realistic. That's why I'm going to be selling a bunch of these things. And the Audi will be gone. So three cars that you're seeing here are going to be gone. Okay, let me go. See, this going to be close. Am I going to hit? No, we're good. It's probably best if we just pull in, y'all, because it's going to be difficult to get everything in. Ooh, we are not making that turn, y'all. We gotta back it on up more. Ooh, don't hit the, don't hit the pole, y'all. Gotta keep going. Now turn. Don't know why I placed this semi-truck there. Now go ahead and turn to right. Turn left. Back it on up. There we go. Keep, um, we'll put it right over here, y'all. This is probably a good spot for it because it's easy access. We can just back it in when we come back from our race. Which we can probably put a trailer to back there or a truck. But this is, like, kind of its setup. Now, we do take the Peterbilt and swap it out with the other gooseneck here and there. But this is normally what it hauls. I don't want to haul this with the 550 just or the 450 because it kind of... It knows it's back there. It struggles, not going to lie. I go here. Yeah. We got a three and a uh, Peter Bell right here, boy. Which, with that being said, I need to sell that thing. Because I can pull a semi trail with this right here. Just gotta put a fifth wheel hitch back here. Oh, it does. It already has one. Oh. I can all semi with that for sure. So we'll sell this truck over here. So that's four trucks that's being sold. I still don't have time to think. I say we go ahead and. Hmm. We'll put the LBZ somewhere real quick, y'all. 
If I do I make the turn, do I fit? I do fit. Sweet. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. So we'll back it up. Don't don't we want to do it that way then? Then we can't get the trailers out. Yeah, good idea. All right, we're gonna back it in. Oh, bring over a pallet, y'all. I don't want to put it in the bush right there, but I have no really choice. I want to make sure I'm out of the way of this gate too. Oh yeah, well this is a good spot for it here, y'all. Go ahead and detach it, and just so the truck's out of the way, can I climb this? You think? Oh, she struggled. Oh, she did. Let's try and get this up here real quick. Oh yeah, park her right here, y'all. Woo, that tire, that fender gap right there. Woo, she got some trout. She got some flex to her, y'all. Uh, next trailer. Oh, we should probably put the other tra this trailer over there. Well, oh, my mistake. This one's unloaded. We just got tools and some of these and everything. We had a lot of parts. Trying to do this fast, y'all. So this video ain't gonna be 15 hours. Yeah, we might swap. End up swapping there. These trailers, two trailers go. But in the videos, you won't see all these things out. This is just for this video. It also helps with frames. Like I don't know how my eyes eyes are handling it right now because there is a lot here. Yeah, this trailer is longer because it's 48 foot. And just so this one's out the way, we'll pull it in here. We'll figure out where we're going to park all of them once we get everything in here. We just don't want to be in the way while we're getting everything in here at once. Uh, that could stay out there. Uh, we can go ahead and get this trailer placed because I already know where I'm taking this one. We'll have to back the Peter build up a little bit whenever we take it out, but... It's small and it's perfect. Although I should probably put the race trailer there just because you pull straight in here. Ooh, we are got the winch Peter built back just so I can even get it in there. Oh, he cannot get over that little gap and a little. I ate too many food, y'all. Ate too much food. Back that in right there. There we go. Also leave a comment if you like us doing normal roleplay videos and everything, because if so, I'll do a lot more. But once I hit enough uh, followers on TikTok, we'll be going live. So go check out, go check out the TikTok too, y'all. So this is where it's going to be placed at. And just so this truck's out the way too, y'all, we're not going to park anything over here. Just trucks for now. Alright, so we have most of the trailers placed. Oh, parked. Let's run all the way down the street, y'all, because I decided to park way down here with the 7-3. Uh, we'll probably drive in the back way, y'all. I'll show y'all a little back way, because the neighbors, we're like already cool with the neighbors. Don't know how we're already cool with them, but we are. We don't want to let this truck warm up. Holy, might want to turn, y'all. Yeah, we can work. Sweet, it's open. Go through the little back light here. What in the world? There ain't nothing there. Physics for y'all, y'all. Holy. Yeah, we'll just put this beside the other. We'll put this beside the three stacker.
Sorry, brother, I had to take a uh, phone call. Uh, where am I gonna park this truck at, y'all? Um, well, I'm selling this truck, so this won't be here long. Let's just park it on site, I guess, for now, y'all. Do a smoke burn out real quick. Oh, she don't have enough power to smoke them. Is there a fence all the way around there? Oh, it's a fence stop. It does stop. Okay. Yeah, we'll just park right here, y'all. Because this truck is getting sold. Like, as soon as we do this video, I'm going to put on Facebook and sell it. Uh, we're going to sell the two cars that are over there. Uh, hmm. It's kind of running out of space, y'all. Well, we're running out of, like, space for organizing. I'm just gonna leave these on the trailer, y'all, because, like I said earlier, it's gonna be sold. I just wanna get everything parked so I can get the video over with. Cause I can do all the organization later. Um, yeah, that's a good spot for it, actually. We might end up swapping these, putting that one over there, and, well, putting. Yeah, let me do this so you can see. No, you can't. Putting this trailer over there, and putting that trailer right over here, and leaving that one, like, somewhere over in the middle. Just so I have them all organized. Ooh, what was that? Well, we, we can start parking these trucks, I guess. Let's park them all over here for now. Let's grab the Sierra. Or whatever you... Whatever the, I can't even say it. Let's grab the, the one of the Duramaxes. I have three Duramaxes, y'all. That's kind of hard to say. Four! I forgot about that one over there. Yeah, kind of, kind of sucks to sell the house, y'all. Ooh, we just back, we just put a dent in the tailgate, like a big dent in the tailgate. Golly, how the fence not fall down? Alrighty. So I'm gonna text Jake see if he wants to buy the car. I'm gonna show him my offer and and see if he takes it. Cause if he takes it, this car will be gone. Uh, trailer and truck are staying with us. Truck's kind of like. Brand new, 2024. Had it built out for custom offsets. So for the this trailer will just be placed all over the place because it's the work trailer too, so it won't be staying in one spot. But actually, a good spot for this trailer is actually right over here. Just now seeing it. Look okay, right there's a good spot. Alright, so that one's placed. And once we get the house, we'll do a house, moving into house video and getting put, getting some of these trucks. Just put a dent in the 2024. How bad is it on this one? Oh, you can't even see a dent on this one. We're good. Right, let's put the 450 over there too. Oh, a little big to fit through here. There we go. So everything's parked up now. A little 30 minute video for y'all. There we go. We'll take the LBZ home, y'all. Everything's organized. Sort of in a spot. That, yeah, that truck stayed up there for a little bit. So everything's off the road, except for this trailer, which... I don't know where I'm going to park all these. Like I said, y'all, once I get a house... Let me go ahead and tell you what's going to the house at all times. We're going to have the Hellcat that's on the trailer to the house at all times. Uh, one of these... Single wheels would be there all the time, like the single wheel pickup trucks. The 7.3 would be there all the time. Probably the 24 single wheel would be there, the Duramax right there. This will probably stay here all the time, hooked up to a trailer with the excavator and Bobcat on it. And the 450 will stay here because I'll have to use that for a work truck, or if I take the 7.3, but probably take the 450. Mm, so I don't know. 7.3 is older and it's nice. It'll probably be a better work truck than this one because the 450 needs to be. Whoever just joined, I am making a video at the moment. But probably the 450 be like the main rig. So, I don't know which one we'll use. We'll figure it out. We'll pull this in here. We'll figure out when we do that video, y'all. When we do that video, we'll get it figured out. This trailer will go around back. I'm just going to park in the middle for now. Uh oh, and leave the work. I was LJ. 
And L uh, so LJ's done running his errand, so he's in the video now. Well, in the radio for now a little bit. But, oh, I'm good. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing a video of us mo moving the shops when you helped me earlier move everything over. Oh, I'm just, yeah, 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 I finally yeah. picked up the GoPro and got the last thing, getting everything organized. I'm about to go to your house and show them where the construction stuff is because we've kind of been scrambling whenever we I sold the construction shop and sold the uh, house and shop where everything else was. So we kind of scrambling to get everything organized. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Collins. <laughs> yeah, no problem, bud. So we're going to do some more organization, y'all. Like, I'll probably throw a little video at the very end of where everything's organized and everything's placed. Because right now it's a little mess. Oh, where am I running over here for? Oh, he's over here, y'all. Right now, let's climb back up in the truck. Let's go to LJ's house and show y'all the dump trailer and the skid steer and the backhoe and the excavator for work. We actually use those to clean up the trees. You've seen us do work a few times at the lumber yard. I use them to clean up land on the side. God, Lee, that truck just drifted. <laughs> See if we can drift in here. Oh yeah. There's there's LJ's truck, y'all. He has a little he has a little seven three here. He might have six oh swapped, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's seven three. Yeah. What is it? It's still a 7 3. Alright, sell something 3, okay. So here's the dump trailer that we have for the uh, land clearing and hauling logs. We can do that with this over hauling Pollux. The Bobcat, the Excavator Bobcat, and the Backhoe. That's what we got. But, I'm on I my might... way over to you. Alrighty. Well, y'all, I might add a different clip at the end, but if not, which, I actually, y'all, I will add a different clip of everything organized. I'm gonna go organized. Like, take my time, put everything in a certain spot. But, well, I was about to do an outro, but we're about to add another clip, so we'll see you in a second. Alrighty, y'all, so, it's been a few days. Uh, not many days, it's been a few days, so everything's organized. We got LJ stuff all here now. He got all of his stuff moved in his house. He, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he just bought the house, like, like four days, five days before we moved into my shop. That's He's got right. his... He's got his trailer back here, his dually, little four-wheeler, the new, the new car, which none of y'all have seen. Yeah, this is this is his little blazer, y'all. It's a pretty nice truck. It's got some nitrous in it, and it's pretty fast. Got his set. We got his own little seven three here. Got some hustlers on the fuels forge, right? Yeah, there we go. Got the high country over here. We have his truck over there. His SN ninety five in the garage. His six zero by the street because we kind of ran out of room in here. Be honest, not honest. And then we have the Fairmont and the Hellcat. Um, we'll just take the high. I'm gonna take the high country to the shop and show them how everything's placed. Alright, no problem. I didn't. I didn't move. Ooh, we are not gonna curve these wheels. We are not gonna curve them. Ooh, she got some torque. Can she drift? No, she cannot drift like that. Like that would be so. Uh, that would be easy. Alright y'all, so we had decided to move the trailers like this, it looks better, and the fence won't get in the way. So we'll just pull up to our spot for now. This is going to be the new spot for now. Um, so the C10 and the Malibu was sold, the Audi is sold, we sold that one for pretty up to about 400000 And here at the shop still the same, because we haven't worked on anything, we just kind of left them and got the cars because Colt came and picked up uh, Warrior, so he's going to be running that full-time now again. Uh, hopefully we get the parts in later on this week and finish it up. Got duct tape and bat apple in here. And whenever LJ needs to use the shop, we have a bay open for him. Mm -hmm. uh, lift should be in like next week or something. I'm going to get some banners changed out. Smart car right there. We have the dump truck over there because we haven't used it in a few days. Since the uh, when you seen it, so we got the 450 hooked up to the dump trailer. We did some land clearing not that long ago. Semis for sale. I haven't had no interest, no one interest in it yet. But we got 2015 stacker. We got the Peterbilt. We got this here. Got these two trailers. We got the 7.3. Got this. Got the uh, six. A Cinemomo over here. The Duramax. My dream build, basically. Still got the same dent. Y'all haven't fixed it. Uh, we moved the race trailer back here just because. 
easy access. I can just kind of get the cars loaded up, hook up, and leave. We got the fourth gen, and we have the LBZ right here. And then the uh, Dynamax right there, which I just not realized. They're the same color. It's pretty cool. Two Dynamax is the same color. So this is how everything's placed. Just know whenever we do normal things, it won't be out. And I hear LJ about to pull up. So this is how everything's placed. But with him pulling up, we're going to go ahead and rob and go do some work or something. Do something, y'all, because we ain't going to, unless we're going to test and we're not really doing nothing. So, we'll catch you on the next one. Later, y'all.